Hi everybody. In this tutorial I'm going to design a 5000 tons refrigerant district cooling plant using Revit. So, let's open Revit and choose mechanical template. First of all save your project. I want to change the units to millimeters. Now go to any elevation view and make your new levels. Usually a district cooling plant has three floors. Basement for pumps, ground for chillers and roof for cooling towers. The recommended floor height is 6 to 7 meters for chillers floor, in order to be able to remove the compressors in future for maintenance using monorails and chain blocks. Rename the floor plans and make sure each floor is associated to its correct level. Now let us create a floor in each level. I will assume my plant footprint area is 1000 square meters. So, each floor will be assumed 40 meters length and 25 meters width. Copy the floor to all levels. Now I want to lay the main equipment. Let's start with chillers on ground floor. Go to load family and choose a chiller. I am going to choose double compressor centrifugal chiller. 
Capacity of chiller to be 1,250 tons. So I have to put 4 chillers to obtain 5,000 tons. Offset the chiller 300 mm above floor level, so the chiller will be placed on a foundation. Now let's go to basement and design the pumps. Let's go to systems, mechanical equipment, load family, and then go to the folder pumps. I'll choose a split case pump which is commonly used in district cooling plants. I am going to design the primary pumps first. Now, we have to do the selection of this pump. The required flow from the primary pumps is 1.5 times the chiller's tonnage capacity. Now as I know the flow. I am going to choose a pump that has the nearest flow rating and adjust its parameters.
offset the pump 30 cm above the floor level, and copying it to have four primary pumps. Now I want to check the location and orientation of the primary pumps with respect to the chillers and adjust if necessary for the ease and smooth routing of piping. To do so, I will go to ground level. Then go to view range and press edit, then change the bottom and view depth to unlimited so that I can see what is below the ground floor level. Now if press on the pump, I can see the outlet from this side which is okay to me, because the discharge from primary pump should go to chiller. So, I will keep the orientation as it is and just do little adjustments on the locations. Now, let's go back to basement level and design the secondary and condenser pumps. Let's put the condenser pumps. Condenser pump flow should be equal to 3 times the chiller tonnage capacity, assuming that my cooling tower delta T is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. After I placed the condenser pumps, I will go again to ground floor and adjust the orientation and location if necessarily. The chilled water supply from chiller is from this side, so the suction of my secondary pump should be from this side. Condenser water inlet to chiller is from this side. so the discharge of condenser pumps should be from this side. My pump's positions and orientation are okay, I will go back to basement to place the foundations.
Now, let's go to the roof floor to place the cooling towers. I will change the bottom view range to unlimited to know where to place the towers. Go to mechanical equipment. Low family and choose the type of cooling tower you prefer. I will choose the counter flow type. I am going to design 4 cooling towers, each tower should have cooling capacity of 1250 tons refrigerant. Rotate the tower for a smooth pipe routing. I need inlet and outlet from this side.